So Justin, we have a bare patch here in our lawn that we need to fix. How do we go about doing that? Yeah, so this is very common. Get a lot of questions about this. Have a, a bare area in a, an already established lawn. Mm -hmm. Just need to fill in some spots. And so here what we're going to do is prepare it for uh, applying some Bermuda grass seed to fill in this spot. Okay. And so what, what we want to do, as you see here, is, as you've already done, is to, to kind of rake it up, clean it up, remove any rocks or, or tree limbs or grass that was already growing here and kind of get everything out of the way, get it raked in, get it packed down a little bit so you have a nice uh, clean and firm and smooth seed bed. So that's okay. what we want to do get, to get it ready. Okay, and you want it packed down enough so that you're not leaving footprints in it, correct? That's right, if, if you can walk across it and you're leaving really deep footprints, you need to pack it down just a little bit more just to get that kind of firm and, and clean seed bed prepared. This Bermuda grass seed's pretty small and if it's too fluffy, that seed will just disappear right down into the soil. Okay. And sometimes that fluffy soil, if you do get any watering in or, or rain, it can just really uh, be loose and wash away. Okay. So are we ready to put seed down? We're ready here. And yes. how much do we put down? How do we determine Okay. That? So we're going to use um, Riviera Bermuda grass seed, mm -hmm. and that is a coated uh, seed. And so what we're going to do is do... Um, one to two pounds of pure live seed per 1,000 square feet. And so for this particular seed, we're going to have to put down two pounds of the actual seed per 1,000 square feet, which is going to give us a, a seeding rate, an actual seeding rate of about a pound per 1,000 square feet. Okay. All right. Um, and so we've got about 100 square feet here. Yeah, so 100 square feet, so we're just going to take a tenth of that. So if, if our target was two pounds uh, uh, per 1,000 of, of Riviera seed, we're going to try to put 0. 0.2 pounds or three point uh, two ounces here. Okay, so I've got that loaded up over here in our little whirly bird. So I just need to walk around and kind of spread that. Yeah, so one way you can do it is you can actually just, you know you've got 100 square feet, you know how much seed you need, so you, you can actually just weigh that out and then spread it evenly over the area. That's one way to do it. Another way, say if you were doing a larger area, you'd actually want to calibrate a seed spreader before you went out and did the job. And um, But for this job, it's just a small one. You could do it using a whirly bird, or even if you had to, if you had nothing else, you could even do it by hand. You just want to make sure it's evenly spread across the whole area. Okay, excellent. Well, we'll get this seeded then. Okay. So, Justin, we need to rake it in and tamp it so that we make sure we have good seed to soil contact. And then what do we need to do? That's right. Then we have to think about fertility. And so, uh, we've done a soil test here and we're a little bit low in nitrogen so we're going to have to add nitrogen we want to do that right now at the same time too and so really there's no right or wrong way to do this you can put the seed down you can put the fertilizer down and rake it in or you can put the fertilizer down first and then put the seed down and rake it in the point is as long as you're if you're seeding do your soil test check the fertility put the fertilizer down now too but then we've got to think about watering this in and starting to get it established okay so when we're watering how often are we going to need to water it yeah, so if we're going to seed this in the spring or summertime, uh, we really want to keep a moist seed bed through germination. So that, that could be uh, watering it every day for 10 to 14 days and then maybe backing off to every other day as you start to see the, the seedlings come up and it starts to get established, you can slowly back off. But the point is keeping, the, keeping that wet because those roots are going to be very, very shallow at the beginning. So uh, doing a deep watering is great, but when you're talking about new seed, you really have to keep that top pro profile wet throughout the germination process. Okay, and as the seed is germinate, what about traffic? So we want to keep keep the animals, keep the kids, keep the people off of this until it gets uh, fully established. So Which, that could take, uh, you know, the 30 to 60 days, depending on the time of year and the environmental conditions. Excellent. Now we know the steps to seeding our lawn. When seeding Bermuda grass, another tip to think about is just using a shaker, uh, maybe an old mason jar or a Parmesan cheese container, cutting holes in the top and putting out the correct amount of seed in the jar, weigh it out, and then just evenly distribute that over the area. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussions.